welcome to today's episode. I thought I would cover advanced systems because you might be thinking, gee, this is great that you've got some way of doing systems and processes and that it might give me optics on my business so I can see what my team's working on if they're remote or even if they're at the office and you've got a large team that you can actually see what everyone's doing. But does it hold up for advanced systems? So, so what could be an, a, a, an, an example of an advanced system? Well, one could be that you've got a lot of moving parts really quickly. So something like where you've got many, many orders coming in through, through the day. And in this case, the actual to do, how to do the work doesn't change much. This is analogous to a classic kind of Henry T. Ford um, industrial uh, make the car pipeline. And it's just like, you know what, the, the instructions don't move, change that much. It's like, do the same thing, do the same thing, do the same thing, but what's important is speed. And the interesting thing is that you can set up a system like this, but instead of say completing the system where all the work's done, it's never going to be done. And instead you just have to have a couple of different categories and move them down from beginning to working on to next step to next step to done. And this, if you moved it instead of vertically, you tweaked it horizontally, you're probably going to recognize this as a Kanban. Kanban's are awesome. Kanbans are awesome as long as the work instructions don't change much. So that's easy to set up. What about batched systems? You're like, you know what, man, what about if we've got a bunch of work that needs to be done at a set time and it's repeating work, but there's a lot of details in it. And the two examples that I'll give you for this, so one might be a client fulfillment experience where you're fulfilling over eight weeks or 12 weeks or six weeks, and you wanna have a overview of what's going on, and then you're gonna have a particular week that covers that as well. So that could be an example of a batched system. Hello, Philippa, how are you tonight, darling? Do you wanna say hi? Give them a wave, yeah. Another one, which you might recognize, is that if you did a live video with random events, like my daughter coming to visit, it's so good to have you on the on the on the video, buddy. How are you doing tonight? Uh, okay, nothing much to say. That's okay. Another example might be doing a live video every day, but then you want to multiply that material. You want to uh spread it out across different platforms so this idea sometimes called content multiplication content amplification that you do the one video and then you syndicate it out perhaps like me you choose to do it on facebook live but then you send the video to youtube and you send it to linkedin and then you strip out the audio and you send that to spotify for the podcast and then if you're good you can take three quotes out of it and actually go ahead and make some quote cards and do that every day. Now, this sounds relatively simple. Like what we discussed just there, you're like, yeah, that's easy. The challenge is when you've got to do it every day and you can't backlog. And in that case, there are significant advantages to batching. And batching basically means that at the end of the week, you're going to take the next week to pay, perhaps produce the videos and then the week after that to schedule the videos and then the week after that deploy the videos. And so there is this batched experience where by you're taking some time to complete the smaller boards. So each daily uh, video would have a board and you go through and do that work, but it's significantly easier to do it seven days at once. So this would be a second example of a batched system. So we get our first one, which is the fulfillment of a client and they're getting fulfilled over six weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, and you've got a, an overview board and then each level, each, each week's board. And then on the other example, you're doing a daily video and then the syndication of that content out to other channels gets scheduled out a couple of weeks time. They're both batched systems. So this essentially is not that hard as long as you get system structure right. If you know how to structure a system, 
then these, these things are just variants on that same structure. Instead of a simple system that's just got a bunch of processes and a bunch of results, these batch processes have like a high level board and then a bunch of small ones that you just do. And the fast moving board that I discussed before, you just have no, basically you don't apply uh, some of the strategies. You, you may lose some optics, but you benefit from just speed. You're just like gets done, gets done, gets done. As I said, the disadvantage of that style board is you do not want work that changes frequently. You, you don't want to lose the instru have the instructions for that changing all the time. But this is a brief discussion on advanced systems. These are very, very doable, very, very yeah, relatively easy once you get the understanding of how to do a simple structure. That's all I got for you tonight. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you got some some insights about power systems and how they can be adapted for your particular needs in your business. If you want some help with this, head over to systemio.dev. Otherwise, I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue this journey into the power of systems to create results. See you then.